25 and 33 thousandths divided by 52. So just go ahead. We're dividing decimals and powers of 10, so divide and round the quotient to nearest thousand. Check that your answer is reasonable. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, does 2, can 2 be divided by 52? No. So now, can 25 be divided by 52? No. Can 250 be divided by 52? Yes. So go ahead, and let's find out. 52 times 4 is 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 4 is 20. So the 4 on top of the last number of 250. Um, 52 times 4 is 208. Subtract 0 minus 8, can't do it. Borrow 1 from 5 is 4. 0 plus 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 4 minus 0 is 4. Carry down to 3, 4, 23. 52 times 7. 2 times 7 is 4. Uh, carry the 1. Thir 5 times 7 is 35. 35 is close to 36. Can we go higher? 52 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 plus 1 is 416. That's better. Put the 8 on top. 416. Subtract. 3 minus 6, can't do it. Borrow 1, that becomes 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 0. Carry down the 3. 72 divided by 52 goes in once. 52 is 3 from the bottom, so that's 52 to 4. Track that 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 5 is 2. Now, in order to see the behavior of the thousands place, when you round it, you've got to go ahead and find the 10 thousands. Go ahead and put imaginary decimal. Bring it down. Zero. Two hundred ten divided by fifty-two goes in four times. And two hundred ten will subtract with fifty-two times four. That's two hundred eight. All right. Zero minus eight can't do it. Borrow one. That becomes zero. That becomes ten. Ten minus eight is two. So go ahead and replace the decimal in your quotient. All right. And answer for 0. 0.4814. Underline the thousands place. Look at the behavior of the 4. It rounds down, so the 1 stays the same. So the final answer, 0. 0.481. Remember to show all your answer if you're writing to thousands place, thousands place as well.